everybody and welcome to this week's Tune In Tuesday. I recently had the absolute pleasure of meeting a very inspiring young girl visiting Cornwall from her home in Switzerland. Ten-year-old Anna has been aware of the plastic pollution problem since she first watched the Blue Planet series on BBC. The day after she'd watched it, she went into her local supermarket and realised she was now seeing things very differently, which was when her family committed to becoming plastic free. To help explain the problem of plastic pollution to her friends, Anna with her mum started a social media campaign called Anna Cares, where they were making videos with hints and tips of how people in their community in Switzerland could become plastic free. Which is why I have the great pleasure of handing over the reins of this week's Tune In Tuesday to Anna and her mother as I gave them the tour of our new Beach Guardian lab up at Trevisca Garden Centre and I then had the incredible experience of being interviewed by Anna herself. Hi, today I'm on a, on a holiday in Cornwall in the, the UK and today I went to go and visit um, the beach guardian Emily. Hi! And is litter picking going to solve the plastic pollution problem? Brilliant question. Okay, I think, I mean, people always undervalue how important litter picking is. A lot of people say that all litter picking is good for is making a place look nicer. They just say, you know, it's just for picking up rubbish, which it is, but I think litter picking is so much more than that. For instance, when we go down to a beach, when other people see us litter picking, they come and ask us what we're doing. They have a conversation with us. We can talk about plastic, so it's a huge awareness thing as well. Also, we've had people join us on litter picks that after they've seen the problem firsthand for themselves, they've realised all of the changes that they need to make in their lives. And I think with going out, reconnecting with nature, spending time outdoors with friends and family, litter picking has so many benefits for your mental health and well-being as well. It's not just about making the environment look nice, it's for you as a person as well yeah. so I think it definitely is going to help us solve the problem um, but there's this analogy that I've heard before and it's uh, if you've got a leaky sink in your bathroom you wouldn't spend year after year mopping up the floor you'd fix the tap we can keep spending year after year litter picking cleaning the plastics from our beaches but we do have to turn off the plastic tap we have to stop all of that plastic going into the ocean in the first place. So I think if we keep litter picking, but also keep working with businesses to stop them using plastic, then we'll solve the problem. Yeah. You agree? Yes. Good. What have you loved about doing your job? Everything. <laughs> but the thing I love the most is finding the crisp packets. I don't know what it is about finding crisp packets. I never thought you know, if you'd have asked me when I was 16 years old, well, if you'd have said to me actually, when I was 16 years old, Emily, by the time you're 22, your favorite thing will be finding old crisp packets on beaches. I would have said, no, really, old crisp packets? But honestly, I love it. It's, it's, it's a collectible thing for me. I love finding old crisp packets. But it's scary, of course, to see that, you know, this packaging is 50 years old and it still hasn't broken down. You've got to, the thing about beach cleaning that we say is you've got to find something. We try and make it like a treasure hunt. Try and make it something other than just picking up plastic. So we say, look out, hunt, hunt for uh, crisp packets, hunt for pieces of Lego that are left on the beach, and toy soldiers that have been in the sand for 50 years, and lots of different things. So if finding crisp packets, it, packets is what keeps me beach cleaning, then that's fine. <laughs> What advice would you give to people like me about changing behaviours of friends and family? Just don't stop. Just if, if you have to keep saying things again and again, just keep doing it because it will be worth it in the end. And as I said, people that don't believe you, it's hard, but turn that into you being empowered and think, okay, if you don't believe me, that's fine. I'm just going to work harder and make it a positive thing but you just have to keep going keep going keep going that's keep going. exactly right yeah it's um you know i said 
the worst thing you can do for the environment is think somebody else will fix it. You have to remember that you are somebody and you can fix it. So I hope you enjoyed watching this week's Tune In Tuesday video with me and Honor from Honor Cares. And I'll see you next week for next week's Tune In Tuesday.